And Chicago is about to play a major role in the 2024 presidential election. With the Democratic National Convention returning for the first time since 1996. And of course, Mike Flannery is here. And Mike, um, we had to beat out New York and Atlanta. And I know a lot of people thought with Georgia's influence in the election that Atlanta had the edge here. I, I think that was true, uh, uh, Roseanne, uh, when the competition began. However, Chicago's fundamental advantages in terms of available hotel rooms, quality restaurants and entertainment options, and our convenient middle-of-the-country airport connections prevailed in the end. Sources tell Fox 32 News the idea of hosting next year's big convention was first broached by Anna Caprara, Governor J.B. Pritzker's chief of staff. After some initial skepticism, the governor and his team embraced the concept, with the governor repeatedly personally pitching the idea to President Biden, including in trips to the White House. One key factor tipping the scale Chicago's way, Pritzker's promise to raise enough money to guarantee that the Democratic National Committee will not lose any cash on the big shindig here. Now, that is something that uh, sometimes happens to both Republicans and Democrats after their national conventions. 1996 was the last year the Democrats convened in Chicago. As then, President Bill uh, Clinton, as then President Bill Clinton was running for a second term. The convention was seen as a great success, and in a sense, it redeemed the city's reputation from the politically disastrous 1968 Democratic National Convention when there was of course civil uh, disturbances in the streets and a so-called police riot uh, was uh, said to have erupted on the streets and uh, protesters were uh, beaten by police at that time. Today's announcement gives lame duck Mayor Lori Lightfoot who leaves office next month a bit of good news to trumpet as she heads out the door. I just received the call this morning uh, from uh, Chairman Har Harrison um, I told him he made my day, my week, my month, my year. <clears throat> but really, this incredible honor that President Biden and the DNC have bestowed upon Chicago is a testament to how we work together as a city government, as um, a cabinet, um, but also the folks at the United Center, McCormick Place, and demonstrating that we know how to come together as a city government and the private sector to make sure that we can pull off large scale events, which we do as a matter of course. Lots of Democrats are happy and also uh, lots of restaurateurs and those and hotel owners who uh, at least for right. uh, a, a bit of the summer are going to have uh, some full right. bookings, Roseanne. We're going to have a lot more on all of this on our news yeah. at 4 and 5. And I remember well the beautification at the last moment before the last convention in 96. They put, uh, I think, some new uh, railings on the bridge decks. They remember did. the remember red, white, and blue. flowers blues. dangling everywhere from all the light posts. And you asked an excellent question. Are they going to at least give us a break from the Kennedy Expressway right. rehab or uh, people coming in and out of O'Hare will, you know, will, yeah. will be what? They'll, they'll, they'll take two hours to get in from the airport? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they... anybody mentioned that during the pitch. Right, right. And hopefully <laughs> they'll make uh, the CTA safer yeah. uh, and, and so the people will ride the CTA. Yep. Well, we hope a lot of good comes out of it. Thank you, Mike.